G'day Solar Folk, I've just been uh, working on this generator. Uh, so we've got an SMA off-grid system here um, that's been installed for a long time. Uh, it's been installed in this little um, shed constructed out of timber, which isn't necessarily ideal, but um, it's, it does the job. So there's the system, it's got two uh, sunny boy inverters and the sunny island inverter um, and uh, I've just done the generator connection and I'm just running it through a test so with this system they've always had the generator installed but the original installer didn't connect up the auto start um, so the, the family has slowly grown and the batteries are going flat overnight which meant uh, they were having to come down here and manually start uh, this blue diamond generator. So I've just wired up the auto start, which is connected behind this panel um, on the pins of the ATS here, which is the um, automatic transfer switch. Uh, so there's some wires behind here. There's a positive with 12 volts on it, and then that goes to Ooh, I think it was the white wire. Anyway, one's the earth, you don't use that. Okay, you use the one with the positive, with the 12 volts, and the other one, which I think was white. Uh, that is the uh, trigger for the generator to start. And that's all wired on the back of that um, plug, or socket rather, behind this panel. Um, and then with these particular generators, you leave it on off, and that is the auto start set up so I'm just doing a test on it now um, I've changed the settings on the sunny island to start the generator at 62 percent uh, just so I can run it through a test and make sure it does everything it should uh, so that should start up any moment because I think we're almost at 62 percent um, so the idea there is that uh, the people don't need to come down and manually start the generator um, which is how it should be with an, with an off-grid system. You shouldn't have to manually come down and start a generator or anything like that. So I've just had this heat gun going just to deplete the battery. I'm just going to turn that off now. And you can see we're at 61%. And I actually had it set to come on at 62 So it's done what it's supposed to there. And it sh I've got it set to turn off at the moment at 70%. But I'll change all that back. It'll, I'll change it back so it starts up at 30% and shuts off at 80%. Okay. Um, so any off-grid system should have a generator to um, support the system. In case the whole system shuts down, you can transfer over to a, a generator. See, they've got the transfer switch in there. Um, and also to charge the batteries if there's not enough solar. Um, so we've got a BYD battery pack here and um, that's connected up to the Sunny Island. So I've just got the cover off the Sunny Island there. This is the wires coming into the Sunny Island. And um, you can see there, I've had to do a bit of a, a bit of a dodgy because with the Sunny Island inverter, the plugs for these terminals for the relays come in a bag and obviously the original installer has just thrown them uh, in the rubbish. So these little pins here, I managed to find a CT, a current transformer, which had the same size, oh here it is here, had the same size plugs in there. So I've actually melted them with a the soldering iron and then just pulled them out and then pushed them over the pins and um, put a bit of insulation in there just so they, just in case it does wobble loose that they can't touch each other, but they are a nice snug fit, so that should be fine. Um, obviously not ideal, but I am out in the bush, so sometimes you've got to improvise. Uh, I do need to come back because we want to get this system online as well, uh, most likely through Sunny Portal, but we'll sort that out at a later date, and which time I'll come back with the proper plug and, and do all that properly. Um, but at least they're not having to come down here at 5 o'clock in the morning and start the generator manually. 
so you can see on the sunny remote control here um, this is an older system um, they don't the new assistants don't have the sunny remote control um, which is good in some ways and bad in other ways it's nice to have a display here and be able to change the um, parameter settings of the off-grid inverter without having to connect a laptop to it uh, but you can see the generator is so what will happen is the sunny island will start the generator and then the sunny island will sync with the generator sync with the frequency um, and then once it's synced it will close another relay uh, this one here I believe and it will start drawing power from the generator so at the moment we're drawing 3.9 kilowatts thereabouts and you can see the arrow there showing power going into the battery and that will slowly charge the battery up um, so yeah there we go guys just a, a quick video on um, the generator connection to uh, an SMA inverter. Cheers.